So hi all. In this presentation, we are going to discuss 2D heat transfer. So in the previous presentation, we were discussing about the triangular elements which can be used to discretize a two-dimensional geometry. So when you look at the differential equation for two-dimensional heat transfer, you can write like this: the dou by dou x minus dou by dou x kx dou t by dou x minus dou by dou y ky dou t by dou y is equal to fxy. So this represents the heat transfer, two-dimensional heat transfer equation for steady state heat transfer, heat conduction. So in here, kx and ky represent the thermal conductivity in x and y direction. So if the material is isotropic, then kx will be equal to ky. Fxy represent the heat generation per unit volume. Now, from the differential equation, you can write the residual. The residual will be equal to minus dou by dou x, kx dou t by dou x, minus dou by dou y, ky dou t by dou y, minus fxy. So if you have the excess solution, then this will be equal to zero all over the domain. So in the Galerkin method, what we are going to do? In the Galerkin method, we will multiply this residual by using the weight function and integrate it all over the domain and equate it to zero. So this we represented by equation number one. Now, if you look at this equation, this is actually representing the weak, strong form of the equation. So we need to convert this one into weak form of the equation. So for that one, we are going to use the integration by parts. So we will take this term, dou by dou x, w i k x dou t by dou x is equal to dou w by dou x, k x dou t by dou x plus w i dou by dou x, k x into dou t by dou x. So this entire term actually that is present in the equation, we are able to rewrite. We can take it in this side and we can take this other term on the other side. So you are able to write the, the entire term dou w by dou x kx dou t by dou x minus dou by dou x w i kx into dou t by dou x. So similarly, the term which contains the partial differential equation with respect to y also you are able to write like this. So these two terms, you can substitute these two terms uh, in the uh, equation number one. So if you substitute and rearrange that uh, that terms, then you are going to get like this integration all over the domain. Dou w by dou x kx dou t by dou x plus dou w by dou y ky dou t by dou y minus w i fxy dx dy is equal to integration over the domain dou by dou x w i kx dou t by dou x plus dou by dou y w i ky dou t by dou y into dx dy. So we have taken some terms to the right hand side. Now if you look at this right hand side term. So we will close, we will make a close to on this right hand side term. So this is the term on the right hand side. So this is actually the term which is integrated all over the area. So like we did study for the divergence theorem, which actually convert, which we are able to use, convert this volume integral into surface integral. The same operation we are going to do with this term. So this is actually we are integrating all over the area of the element. So this actually we will convert it into a boundary integral. So this is actually integrated all over the area so that you are just converting into the boundary of the element. So similar like how volume integral can be converted into the surface integral. So by using this divergence theorem, this term you are able to write here actually we are integrating all over the boundary of the element w i k x dou t by dou x into n x plus w i k y dou t by dou y into n y into d s. So n x actually represent the direction cosine of the x axis with respect to the normal on the boundary. NY represents the direction cosine of y axis with respect to the normal on the boundary, and DS representing a, a small term on the boundary, a small length on the boundary. So if you look at the this term kx dou t by dou x into nx plus ky dou t by dou y into ny, this actually represents the heat flux normal to the boundary. So that we just represented by qn. So you can write all over the boundary, integration over the boundary, wi qn into ds. So this term we are going to substitute in the weak form. So once you substitute in the weak form, you are going to get like this dou w by dou x kx dou t by dou x plus dou w by dou y ky dou t by dou y minus w i fxy into dx dy is equal to integration over the boundary w i q n ds. So this is the weak form of the equation which you got, uh, which we got now. So next process, what we are going to do, we will just assume an approximate solution for the problem. So here the temperature is our variable which we need, which we are interested. So temperature you are able to write it like this integration uh, T, the temperature T is equal to sigma I is equal to 1 to N Ti phi I. So N, N actually represents the number of nodes in the element and Ti represents the nodal temperature and psi A represents the shape function. So the approximate 
solution of the temperature, you are able to write it like this. So from this term, dot T by D, you are able to find a dot T by dot X equal to sigma I is equal to 1 to N, dot Psi by dot X into T I. So dot T by dot Y, you are able to write sigma I is equal to 1 to N, dot Psi by dot Y into T I. So you can write dot T by dot X and dot T by dot Y like this. Now in Galerkin method, weight, weight function will be equal to the shape function. So this, all these things you can substitute in the uh, weak form of the equation. So what is the weak form of the equation? So this is the weak form of the equation. So here we have this dot T by dot X term. So instead of this dot T by dot X term, we are going to substitute this one dot T by dot X sigma I is equal to 1 to N dot Psi by dot X into T I. So similarly, you are able to substitute for dot T by dot Y. You can substitute from here. So now we are substituting here dot, dot Psi by dot X and dot Psi by dot Y we have already substituted here. So this weight function we will represent it since I that uh, this subscript I has already taken when we use with this dot do T by dot X I has already taken. So the weight function now we will represent it by WJ is equal to Psi J. So you are going to get dot Psi J into dot X, dot Psi J by dot X. Here we will get dot Psi J by dot Y for the weight function. So now you are able to write the weak formula, weak formula equation like this. So here actually we are multiplying with f x, so we multiply with the weight function, so psi j. So q n is multiplying with the weight function, so it is it becomes psi j. So this term actually after this integration, if other than t i, so you can we are representing by k i j into t i is equal to this entire term f x y psi j d x d y integration over the domain we are representing by f j e and this term q n psi j d s actually representing q j e. Actually, it represents the bound to term in the boundary. So now in the matrix form, you are able to write Ke into Ti. So it's actually the element stiffness matrix into the nodal temperature is equal to Fe, the heat generation term, and the boundary term Qe. So where K actually Kij. So any element on the element stiffness matrix, you are able to get from this integration of this part. So kx dou psi by dou x dou psi j by dou x plus ky dou psi a by dou y dou psi j by dou y into dx dy. So that actually represent kij and fj e represent integration over the domain fxy psi j dx dy and qj e representing qn into psi j into ds integration over the boundary. So in the next presentation we are going to discuss one example with respect to with this equation. So then it will be more clear. So thank you.